Rosie Huntington Whiteley is a mixed natural dramatic type with the facial dominant feature of a pure natural and the body with natural and dramatic features according to the Larsen system. I know a lot of you will think, but she is a definite flamboyant natural and yes, she is by the Kiwi system. However, I'd like to show you also another angle of this type of beauty with the Larsen system. How should Rosie's appearance be styled for, for as a natural dramatic? Given that Rosie's body is mixed, not only natural styles will suit her, but also purely dramatic and even natural dramatic. For the best disclosure of appearance, any of these styles will need to be combined with the natural range of the design in the portrait zone. How to determine your type by Larsen, and this is how I did it for Rosie. Square and wide face size and geometry, natural. Forehead is not too high, but wide, natural. Eyebrows, natural with a dramatic flair to them. Small but wide set eyes, definitely natural. Wide nose, definitely natural. Full lips with soft contour, natural. Wide jaw with strong chin and facial square line over here, definitely a natural. Overall softened geometry of the face is natural with a sharp geometry over here, as has been mentioned. Body, height over 5-10 inches, which is dramatic. Strong and angular body with softer edges, dramatic plus natural. Wide shoulder line without sharp bone structure, dramatic plus natural. Medium sized chest, dramatic. Slightly emphasized waist, natural. Weight gain in the waist and hip area mostly, which is dramatic. Medium sized hips natural, long arms and legs, dramatic, wide-sized hands and feet, natural, overall well-balanced body type, dramatic. Conclusion. Face with a strong dominance of natural feature plus T-type dramatic and natural features on in the body, natural dramatic body type by Larsen system has been concluded. What is a purely natural appearance? External and internal soft and loose large scale cut lines are required. For example, a soft collar line, a loose cutout line that does not hold in a perfectly polished and refined semicircle. An unstructured silhouette that does not have clarity is natural, free, without a hard fit, semi-adjacent or soft oversized cut, not tight to maintain a loose shape and soft lines. The right fabrics will allow you to create a relaxed silhouette, loose and textured fabrics such as corduroy, jeans, suede, bulk knitted wool, velvet, boucle fabric, fur, linen and others. The image of the natural type is simple, coincise and minimalistic. There is no small minuscule fragmentation and detailing or there may be a few large details necessarily a softened contour. There are no very sharp lines and graphics in the makeup as well. The lines are blended well. The seasonal color type determines the contrast and makeup palette. So the contrast can be anything, but the line should be furthered out without clear boundaries there. The style type dictates only the line, shape and texture. The hairstyle. Soft, large lines, naturalness, not flat ironed. If curled, then it is necessary to dishevel the hair and the curls should not be similar to each other. The most important thing for the natural type is the volume, air in the hair and looseness of the hairstyle. And then again, it represents the freedom of the natural types. Prints, soft, large and most importantly, fuzzy lines such as tie-dye print or another print but printed on a textured fabric, large embellishments, softened outline, the effect of natural textures, for example, mother-of-pearl earrings, 
but not cut into sharp geometric shape but retained the natural shape of shells of its oval it's good if one does not look like another one but remains the same as in nature diverse here we see a pink airy blouse emphasizing the roughness of the face wide nose square face structure which is not the best for rosie her type is rather natural plus dramatic which is secondary feature she will shine on much stricter shape like a double breasted oversized blazer that is in trend right now bigger stricter forms will make her face look more miniature and feminine uh, simultaneously so we can see here these blazers work well for her flamboyant side but still will with a dramatic line to it it coincides with nature essence and the body structure that she has the lightest flowing fabrics makes the silhouette unnecessarily light and this lightness conflicts with the natural power of natural dramatic the face becomes rough and heavy instead of the effect of fragility femininity and tenderness the contrast between the airiness of the design and the brutality of the appearance is emphasized natural dramatic is a type that does not need fine and active detailing especially near the facial zone in the first picture we can observe a small geometrically uneven and rather gammon print that does not fit her face well it makes her look heavy with heavy features and heavy features stand out more for rosie with a natural dominant uh, feature in the face the lack of detail will make her face easier to perceive but fully reveal the appearance it is ideal for adding a more active texture such as knitwear in the facial zone again straight to match the facial features it is best to use rough textures like fur or boucle fabric in the photo over here in the pink coat for natural dramatic the natural face looks marvelous because of the rather flamboyant uh, clothing of uh, heavy fur coat this kind of clothing will always make you look more feminine and gentle on the other example we can see a heavy coat of a stricter structure with a dramatic shoulder line a big yes for the natural dramatic type animal prints will fit well with her energy and character lines as well it is best if the lines of the print are blurred out the print borders are slightly rubbed out and then the print will be more in harmony with the natural dramatic type however the correct print size is important natural dramatic a a large scale type small scale will not work so here you can clearly see a large print on the pink rope which is a big yes a small leopard print is a big no pure natural in hair and portraiture loose cuts rough textures including the natural tone edge a natural soft line not a geometric circle but an unpredictable line without strict structure includes the hairline tousled voluminous structured less and soft this is why type is called natural after all natural romantic and gammon natural hairstyles and sometimes cloth everything looks great because they are in the range of affordable finishes for a pure natural dominant as they have a natural feature in them which is dominant sleek dramatic hairstyles makes um, facial features heavy nose lips everything looks a little bit swollen we add naturalness to the same elongated hair volume and looseness it becomes much better as we get natural dramatic which is included in our range however the cheekbones are still accentuated due to the more pronounced presence of dramatic flair if you run the risk of having a little heavier facial features like wider nostrils bigger lips and smaller eyes a sleek bun or a ponytail will greatly emphasize it and make it look even more magnified so be aware of this trick rosie has a mixed natural dramatic figure and although Thanks to this, purely dramatic styles still um, fit her well and, and her body and in the portrait zone the face still requires the use of at least a mixed natural dramatic type since the dominant feature of her face is still pure natural. 
A blazer and a jacket that originally has a dramatic structure is made of more flexible natural fabrics and due to the oversized fit it goes well with soft lines that she has. It adds the minimum necessary softness to the portrait zone which is great. Let's compare how the most natural thing sits a teddy fur coat on a person with a dominant natural feature in the face like Rosie and a person with sharper appearance without natural features, Hailey Bieber. However, there are no natural features in the Hailey Bieber's appearance. To whom it will be visible, I will tell you that this fur coat on the very dramatic type looks comical. So now you know all the secrets of natural dramatic appearance designed with natural face dominant and natural dramatic body type. And you also understand why Rosie opted for minimalism so suitable for natural dramatic types and this is why she's considered a style icon. You can learn all the secrets about your appearance and just like Rosie become an icon and be irresistible in your unique way. And thank you so much for staying here with me and I hope this information was useful for you. And if you liked it, please don't forget to subscribe, put a like and see you in the next episode.